Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna. I am a portrait photographer in the Chicagoland area. And today we're gonna to be talking a lot about hair photography and how to use a ring light indoors. So I'd recently connected with Chris. He is a hairstylist in the Chicagoland area and he was having a little bit of trouble using a ring light indoors in his hair studio. And he was asking me for some advice. And I figured this would be a great chance for me to come into his studio and figure it out in person and let everyone know what their struggles were and how to improve it. Obviously my hair doesn't look as nice as it does right now. He did a fantastic job on my hair and I do have a couple clips of the whole process. So I'm gonna insert these right here. I'm currently in my car right now. I'm heading over to Chris, which is the hairstylist who's gonna be doing my hair today. I'm very excited because I have not done my hair in probably about like a year or two. So this is gonna be very exciting. Once Chris was done doing all of my hair, it was time to get started and take some photos inside of the studio. So the interesting problem that Chris was sort of dealing with is that he has some plants hanging right above the white wall that he normally puts his clients. And it was creating a very harsh shadow right underneath those plants. So every time he was taking a picture, the plants and the shadows were very prominent and very dark. So it would be very distracting on his Instagram. Now there is an ability to remove shadows in Photoshop and in Lightroom, but since Chris was using his phone and we wanted to take those pictures right then and there, it's a little bit easier to just make sure you get rid of the shadows first, because if you use your phone and start editing into Lightroom and Photoshop, you can reduce the quality of the image. And Chris uses a ring light when he's taking these photos, which obviously was really helpful. And this is something that a lot of hairstylists should consider purchasing if they are wanting to get more higher quality photos for their Instagrams, because it's gonna be very directional and it's gonna make it a little bit easier to really show the true colors of the hair. The problem that Chris was having when he was using his ring light is that the ring light was very far from the client and Chris was actually standing in right in front of it. So every time that he was taking the picture, the ring light would be putting all the light directly onto him and he was necessarily blocking that main light that was supposed to hit the client. So that way it was actually creating more shadows than it should have been initially. One of the recommendations that I had for Chris is to bring the ring light closer to the client. Now, I remember Chris mentioning that he feels a little uncomfortable bringing the ring light really close to the client, but if you wanna reduce those shadows, it's critical and very important to make sure you bring the ring light as close as possible to the client. Now, if you're doing a photo that is only the back of the head to really just pay attention to the hair, you can bring the ring light as close as possible because the client's not really gonna necessarily see where how the light is and it's really not gonna hurt their eyes if the client starts to feel a little uncomfortable with how close the ring light is what I would recommend to the hairstylist or the photographer who's taking the pictures of the hair is to turn on the ring light right away and start inching it back and every time you do that constantly ask the client if they're comfortable with that stance now if the ring light is too far and you can't really get all of the shadows removed, what I would recommend is probably getting a second source of light or maybe like a soft box that you can turn on. That way you can have it, direction, have it in the direction that you would need to get rid of the shadows. I do have a full in-depth review of the faux pic studio light kit. So I will have it in the description box below if you are interested in a beginner studio light that makes it super easy for you to just snap the photos right away. One thing that I wanted to mention when I record my YouTube videos is I use the Faux Pic Studio Light Kit. 
and I wanted to test to see the difference between using only one studio light compared to two. And as you can see, when I turn off the left hand side of the studio lights, the right hand side of my face normally comes a little bit dark because there's only one source of light coming towards me. And you can see in the video where I'm using natural light um, straight from the window compared to using the window light only on the left hand side, you can see that it creates a lot of harsh shadows. So this is something that you're probably going to want to look at right before you bring any clients because you don't want to be wasting any time because this is going to probably irritate the client. So it's probably best for you to test right beforehand. That way you are prepared and you're ready for your appointment. If you are taking pictures outdoors, it's very important for you to find a consistent key light only because if you don't have a cafe like Chris does right outside of his hair studio, you can run into issues where there's very harsh shadows on the face. If you're running into harsh shadows on the face while you're taking pictures, I've worked with other hair salons and with other hairstylists before, and they will go just to the side of the building where there's enough shadows for the person to stand right in it and take some photos. The most important thing that you want to make sure is that the hair looks good and the person looks good because you're going to be posting this on Instagram and you want to make sure that your client looks as best as possible because you want people to hire you. So make sure that there are no harsh lights and make sure that the hair looks as best as possible. And that concludes the end of this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified every single time I post a new video. I really want to thank Chris for doing my hair. It looks absolutely amazing and he put so many hours into it and I'm so obsessed. So if you guys are interested, he is open to new clients. So feel free to check him out on Instagram. If you like this video, I have similar photography videos in my playlist, which I will be listing in the description box below. And if you guys are interested in my travel videos where you can travel the world with me and see what I do in my free time, that will also be listed listed in the description box below. But that is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys are staying safe and I will see you guys in the next video.